going to be going over the QuickBooks desktop importer and how you would use that with on the clock and how you're going to get your hours sent over. So in my example, just so that you know, I am using QuickBooks Pro 2016. We are compatible with any version that allows for time tracking. So you'll want to make sure that any desktop version that you are using does have time tracking capabilities in order for on the clock to send its hours over. So you're going to start with getting the import tool, which can be found in our help directory. And you would want to go to QuickBooks and other payroll programs. And if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer them at the end of the presentation. So inside of here, we'll go to the QuickBooks desktop guide. And what you would do is you would just click on QuickBooks desktop time card importer. Now I already have this installed on my computer, just so that you know, you are gonna to wanna to install this as the administrator of the computer, not your on the clock account, but of your actual computer so that it downloads correctly. So what I'm gonna show you is just a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to make sure match. So here's my employee list. This is important for QuickBooks desktop. We wanna make sure that our first and last name match exactly. So I'm just gonna pop up my QuickBooks for you so that you're able to see. So this is QuickBooks Desktop. And you can see that I have my employees in my employee center. I have employee test and employee test two. They are identical to how I have them listed in my on the clock. And then I'm gonna go over to my time cards. Okay, so I've entered in some information You'll see that I have my total hours, my regular hours, overtime hours, and some vacation hours in this for, for example purposes. We do want these to stay default. Um, and on the clock, you are able to actually change these names. However, for QuickBooks Desktop, you want to make sure that this has no edits in it and that everything is exactly how you see it here. We can only import default names. So back to my time cards here. And then I'm just gonna show you what the import tool looks like. So this is our import tool. We can only open this up when you have QuickBooks open. So you're gonna have to have your QuickBooks desktop account open to see this. Now let's go through how we wanna have QuickBooks desktop set up before we even start trying to import time over here. So right now I have my employees up and this is found in your employee center. I'm just gonna go ahead and click open an employee's record here. So I'm just in their personal information. I actually wanna, what I'm interested in is this payroll info tab. And what I wanna make sure is that I have my pay frequency set up in here. I want to make sure that I have used time data to create paychecks checked off in here. This is gonna basically show me my hours. This is how the hours are going to transfer over and then you'll be able to run payroll based on this. You're going to make sure that your default payroll items are listed. These right here, hourly, hourly vacation, overtime times 1.5 hourly. These are what we consider the default payroll items in QuickBooks. So if you've renamed these, you are going to want to make sure that you name them back. So just as an example, I can add my payroll items in here. Uh, sick hourly, that would be a default payroll item. I want to make sure that I have any of these categories that I want to transfer over listed under my earnings here. And then I'll just check and make sure that I've done that on my other employee. So we'll just pop open test employee two here. Same thing, we just want to make sure we have our payroll items on here. We want to make sure that we have used time data to create paychecks is checked. Another important detail, so if you're not sure that your version is set up for time tracking, a good way to tell is that you have this enter time here and that you have the ability to go to use weekly timesheet. So this is really important. If you don't have this by chance, you can actually add this to your account, edit preferences, and then we can just go to time and expenses. And we wanna make sure that in our company preferences, we have do you track time is yes. And that's going to go ahead and add this right in here for you. 
So once we have that all identified in our QuickBooks, we make sure that our names match, we have our payroll items on, and that we definitely have this checked right here. This is really important. Make sure that you have used time data to create paychecks checked. Once you have that all in here, we can come back to our on the clock. We'll just look over our hours, make sure everything looks good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an export CSV. So I'm just going to go ahead and export my hours. And then you'll just save that wherever you'd like on your computer, essentially. And then what you're going to do is once you have that downloaded and saved where you need it, you're going to open up your import tool. And remember, you have to have QuickBooks Desktop open in order to open this. So I'm going to browse for my file. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select my file. I'm going to open it. So once I open it, you can see it gives me my employees and all of their data. So we can make sure that everything comes over. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Send to QuickBooks. And then you should see this little load bar right here go off. Okay, so it looks like everything was successful, so I'm going to go ahead and close that down. And then I'm just going to check my QuickBooks. So now I'm back in QuickBooks. I'm going to come to Enter Time. And I'm going to do this drop down and I'm going to select Use Weekly Type Sheet. And then I'm going to go ahead and select an employee that I want to view. And then we can see that my hours have come over. And it should say OTC added here. And then it should show each of your default payroll items with the appropriate amounts of hours listed. And we can see that it's 41 over here. And then from here, you would just run payroll as you normally would. And that is the basics of the QuickBooks desktop importer tool. Were there any questions that anyone had that I could answer that are specifically about the import? Okay, well, since there's no questions and you saw exactly how that is supposed to work. You can answer, you can always ask any questions that you do have because there will be a replay video that comes your way. Uh, so you forget something and you just have a question, go ahead and ask and we'll get that in support. I'm glad it makes sense. That concludes the webinar and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.